So around last August, September, uh, he had bust a couple of discs in his back. It was a recurring injury, so it happened like a year beforehand, before that even again. But he was roughhousing with a golden retriever and he bust his back, so he hit the ground like a sack of spuds. It was pretty bad, like so the um, the surgeon out in uh, Bald Oil knows, knows that's what said that's uh, you know, he's got a good chance of walking again. And I thought, well, geez, what if it doesn't work, you know, and he's going to be in those little trouble with us for the rest of his life. So, seriously stressful. So, he was bad. He was he needed it done or he wasn't going to walk again. And his back legs were completely gone. So, he got the surgery. And after the surgery, you know, he is in bad shape. All his muscles gone from his, his back. Uh, he was he was the worst it could have been, you know. So, and to get all that muscle back on again, I thought, how are we going to do this? He can't do it at home too easy. I have my knee operated on a baby being born. And so I said, right, I'm gonna go for hydrotherapy. That was the first thing that was recommended by everybody. Even physiotherapists said, go for hydrotherapy first. The surgeon had put me onto it. The orthopedic surgeon had said, get him into hydrotherapy as soon as possible. He, he was all about letting the dog move as much as possible. A lot of people create a dog with a spinal injury, uh, but he's not gonna to learn to get his muscles back up in action if he's just stuck in a crate. So he's all about letting the dog roam around quite a large pen. So uh, he was also pushing hydrotherapy. So I was getting it from, from all sides. And uh, yeah, that's why I jumped straight into it. From the hydrotherapy alone, it's just purely getting him back to motion. Like he didn't have, he couldn't walk around under his own weight if he's got no back legs, you know, so from halfway down his spine is kind of wrecked. So you have to do it, you have to do that sort of exercise, you have to do hydrotherapy to get that sort of motion back in the knees. So he's benefited from the muscle gain on his legs, his, his whole gait is better, he had a terrible roach in his back, um, so not only his legs aren't working, but when they started working, when the muscles started firing in his back, one side is slightly better than the other. So what starts to happen is the dog starts to favour one back leg over the other, and that creates a little bit of a bend in his back, and uh, a little bit of a roach, and over time you don't want to be going around with a bent back all the time, so again, hydrotherapy starts to even that out as well. I can see immediate improvements. Like I've got um, video footage for that Naomi does in here, and, and uh, she sends it to you. And I was showing Naomi the video she'd send me the difference between week, week one and week two was uh, unbelievable. So that's why I'm still here nine months later. If I absolutely couldn't recommend it enough. And um, like I said, for the benefit that Dudley has seen, uh, for the cost of it, for the amount of time, the expertise you get talking to different people in here, like it is. Highly recommended, and it's for so many things. Like as I said, I you know kind of write about dogs. So of all the issues you see in dogs, from okay, dog study was spinal, but sore limbs, obesity, arthritis, all the stuff that you take as oh sure, this is just what happens. To dogs with eight or nine, the dogs looking at it. That's half his life still to go with that issue. So it doesn't have to be that way, you know. So people are kind of resigned into feeding, you know, crap food and just put drugs in when the symptoms pop up. When actually, what it's about is preventing these symptoms. So don't wait until your dog gets obese and all that. You know, get him off the dry food, get him into hydrotherapy, get him fit. It's the same advice it is for humans. So I strongly recommend hydrotherapy as a way of dipping your toe into kind of exercise and getting um, getting the dog right. You know, before things go wrong.